we have people who come in and give two dollars for a buffet meal but we also have people who come in and give fifty dollars just for dosa i don't think it really matters how much everyone gives because at the end of the day if that's all they can afford that's all they can afford we always make enough for us to open the next day and continue serving people My name is Harish. I'm full-time employee at Anlakshmi. Anlakshmi is an Indian vegetarian restaurant that functions on a philosophy of Atiti Devo Baba, or guest is God. So if tomorrow God were to come to your house and have a meal, you wouldn't give God a bill at the end of the day. A lot of people, the first that comes to mind is it's free food, but we simply do not price our food. We just want to provide home-style food to anyone without them having to worry about the money. Initially, when I first started off volunteering here, it would really make me very, very angry and very upset to see people giving $5 for a meal, or even $2, or even $1. I remember this once, this guy gave a very small amount for his meal, and a few days later, this guy comes back, and he said, I'd like to give back what I owe. You know, it was at that point I really thought to myself, you know, it was so easy for me to judge the person without really understanding what was going on in their own personal lives. I realized it's not my job to question how much people give. Instead, my job is very simple. My job is just serve good quality food and the money will come when it needs to come. Because you need the tose to actually stick a little bit and then after that it releases. Uh, I've been making toses now ever since I started in 2016. For lunchtime, you can see me behind the dosa tower making dosas. Uh, yes, this is the ghee. There are no tricks, it's not like a tapanyaki bar or something like that. Instead, being at the live station helps me communicate with people. And sometimes I find a lot of people, Indians especially, giving a lot of wrong information to people who don't know much about Tose. So for example, we have a special type of Tose called a Jaffna Tose. When people see yellow colour, they're like, oh, it must be a Pesret or an Ade, which are actually two different styles of Tose. They don't even use rice in them. So I'm always happy to stand there and correct them. All the time, people are always asking me what I'm doing with my life and why am I working in a restaurant. But I always knew I wanted to help people, so I guess coming to Anlakshmi and serving people this way has just been the right fit for me. At the end of the day, there's nothing more important in life than your own peace of mind and your own mental and personal happiness. My grandmother and grandfather were one of the first few volunteers to come in. Seeing my grandparents come here and effortlessly serve for nearly 30 years, I kind of caught that spirit, I guess. When Anlakshmi first began, it was a group of grandmothers and mothers who came together to help provide the recipes and to cook. When people come here and have a meal, it feels like they're being fed by a loved one. There's something really beautiful in being able to give back without expecting anything in return. To serve someone good food and then they look at you and say, thank you so much. I've been away from home for so long, but today you helped me remember my mother. It's because the volunteers who come here are so involved, are so passionate, that I don't think money has ever been a factor for not just me, but for any of us who serve here in Anlakshmi.